Right, welcome to the second video on, on the autonomic segment variance. It's fine, given reasons, the following angles. O is the centre of the circle, and that's quite important for this question. So we've got to find angle O, T, Q, O, T, R, O, S, up, T, and S, T, P. So first of all, we need to find angle O, T, Q. So this is this angle here. Because this is the centre of the circle, this line here is the radius. So that will be equal to 90 degrees, this angle that we want to find, because this is the radius and this is the tangent. And the tangent and the radius are always at 90 degrees to each other. The next angle we need to find is OTR. O -T -R. So that we need to find this angle here. Okay, and because these here add up to uh, 90 degrees, then 90 minus 64 will give me that angle there. The reason is that uh, two angles that add up to 90 are called complementary angles. So that will be equal to 26 degrees. Now we would notice here, because this is the centre of the circle, this is also the radius, so therefore this line is the same length as this line. So this triangle here is isosceles, triangle ROT is isosceles, so this angle is also equal to 26. And now considering this segment here, this uh, segment here, this, or this chord here, uh, this is in the opposite segment, so therefore these two angles are equal because of the alternate segment theorem. So this angle is also equal to 26 because of the alternate segment theorem. Okay, so it's been a video to show you how to use the angle properties in a circle, and especially the alternate segment theorem to find missing angles. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.